Look how long and lengthened my lashes look. You, this literally just changed my life. This looks like false, this is, how, what? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm satin to coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. Okay, I'm gonna add a second. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> So if you don't know, that's Michaela Negrera and she uploaded a TikTok claiming that she achieved these eyelashes by this one mascara from L'Oreal Paris and that no falsies were involved. A fact that was made worse by this one TikTok that she uploaded about two years ago. Difference in my lashes with this mascara is absolutely incredible. It truly did a phenomenal job. I mean, literally, just look at the difference. So I just lied straight to your face and you probably believed it. These lashes, totally fake. And that's what brands do. They lie to you about how things work. Would you have known these were false lashes? Maybe not. You're someone who doesn't have a lot of lashes, doesn't know how to apply lashes, or just wants a little lash lift? This video is for you. Out the gate, let's start by applying two coats to your favorite mascara. We want to achieve the fuller lash look. We're gonna use the Kiss Lash Couture Full Lash Extension. They're super affordable, you get a ton of them. This is the current one I'm using, this is so easy to do. You need a strip lash glue. We're gonna take one of these lash pieces and get some glue on it. Don't gotta let it dry. Give it a quick blow. I'm literally gonna take the piece and just lay it right on your lashes and press it down. Put about five pieces. Then go ahead and apply one final coat of mascara. How would they know? How would they know? This situation took TikTok by storm and everybody in the beauty community had something to say. At first, Michaela's viewers started to comment asking her if this was in fact only the mascara and she said that it was. A lot of people in the beauty community and especially Michaela's viewers took this as a real blow because they trusted Michaela and the things that she recommended for them to invest in purchasing. Be real. Why can we not be honest on this app? Why is it so hard? It's really not that hard. And this really upsets me because I really used to trust her recommendations. Okay, look at the eyelashes. Look at them closely. So she is telling us that this mascara can turn into this? Ma'am, BFR. Because this ain't adding up. A lot of influencers came out and spoke about this. Some shared how they felt about it, like Kathleen Lights. I am so shocked right now. And I... I feel like I'm going to regret posting this because I love my peers, I love the beauty community, and I stay out of drama, I don't, I don't want to talk to anybody, like, at all. Um, but I was just stretching after my workout, and I was on TikTok, and I saw, like, a big influencer who, like, I respect, and, like, she's awesome, and I, and I, and I like her TikToks a lot. But I just saw a sponsored post. Um, I'm, like... I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I'm like shaking because I'm so shocked. I saw her do a sponsored post, which that doesn't matter because uh, whatever, sponsorships are awesome. I do them all the time. Um, but it was about a mascara. And when she shows like the finished product of the second coat, she's like wearing Ardell Demi Wispies or something. Like there's falsies there. Like it's very clear. It's very, very clear. But she's saying that they're not falsies. It's just the mascara. I'm just like, damn, damn, that really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, that really sucks. Kind of disappointed me, but what can you do? Somebody screen recorded my story about the mascara sponsorship thing. I posted it on TikTok and I'm getting tagged and a lot of you are being really nice to me, but I'm really scared and I'm really, really scared. And like, I don't want to, please, please, please. I have a lot of anxiety guys, okay? I shouldn't have said anything, I shouldn't have said anything. I was just so shocked. So we're just scared. <sighs> I was actually about to leave my house, but I just have a little quick think piece here. So allegedly, I'm gonna say alleged, she put on a false lash to promote a mascara ad. And I have nothing against her at all. So if Michaela, if you see this, nothing against you, but stuff like this is why people do not trust influencers. 
and it's so upsetting. More specifically, beauty influencers who do product reviews, who do sponsorships, that's why people are always saying, oh, we can't trust them. Oh, you know, these are all fabricated because of stuff like this and it's not okay. So to me, I think that not only is it your responsibility as a creator with such a huge platform, or oh, you can even have 10,000 followers and you shouldn't be doing this. I do think it's your responsibility to contribute to a healthy community of people because now everyone in the comments section is saying, see, this is why I don't trust reviews. This is why I don't trust reviews. So not only are you getting a hit, everyone gets impacted by that because now you don't know who to trust and you don't know who's lying and who's not lying. And some thought apparently that this will be a good opportunity to let everyone know that they didn't think that lying to their audience for money is such a big deal. Michaela did. Okay, no hate to the person that did the video that you guys just saw. But why are you guys hating on somebody for lying? Granted, maybe she's lying, maybe she's not. So what? Even if she did put false eyelashes on, why does that matter? Don't get me wrong. Lying sucks, but everyone does it. Especially when it comes to social media and especially when it comes to... Sorry, if somebody put $200,000 in your face and said, hey, promote my shitty mascara, I don't think you'd think twice about it. And now Jeffree Star is apparently getting his career back because of this. So it's fair to say the whole situation got really big. That TikTok is still up and Michaela hasn't addressed the situation nor has she uploaded since. Since the last time I talked about this, the views on this video have doubled and it doesn't seem like she's wanting to take it down. Maybe she's waiting for things to calm down. Also, her following hasn't gone down, not significantly at least, but her fans are showing Michaela real grace. And it it does seem like her apology might be accepted if she chooses to make one. As you may know, Jeffree Star has officially announced that he is no longer going to be on YouTube. Hello everyone, oh my god, all right, so you know Miss Thing quit YouTube, so we're doing a new product reveals. But that was short-lived because the Michaela Lashgate wave has brought him right back. Woken up the mother beast, and I'll be reviewing makeup starting again next week. A lot of foundations and mascaras and certain things. I hear maybe fraudulent. So if y'all want an unbiased that's been reviewing makeup for 10 years, that has never accepted a coin from one brand to ever say a product is amazing, then stay tuned because the bitch is back. Jeffree Star is definitely really having a moment right now with people saying one person that was always honest is Jeffree Star. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back. Normally you're used to hearing welcome back to my channel, but bitch, we're on TikTok now. I've taken two months off from reviewing makeup and girl, y'all really awoken up the Loch Ness Monster. So allegedly the telescopic lift L'Oreal mascara is the best mascara in the world and no brand may ever be able to compete with it. All right, let's open this up and address the hot topic. So allegedly, L'Oreal has been sending out this mascara and Miss Michaela reviewed it. The internet blew the and a lot of people think that she's wearing a false lash at the end of her eye. Now, as a makeup artist, since I was 20 years in the game, bitch, I, it looks peculiar. It looks bizarre. The mascara is on, it looks cute, and then all of a sudden there's a, a swish and all of a sudden there's some extra sh on the end and I don't know what so we're gonna review this unbiased. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to say this sh You can't pay me anything because I make my own money, my own dollar, I'm independent, and there's nothing wrong with taking sponsorships. Let me just start off by saying that. Get your coin, get your hustle. But Michaela, you set the tone now. I used to set the tone on YouTube. When I said something did not work, the internet knew I was telling the truth. So when people are distrusting you, you gotta understand why. So let's just give this a swirl and then we'll give our final thoughts. This is a vegan formula. Miss L'Oreal is now charging $14.99 for a mascara and they're paying people a lot of money. So I wanna be honest with you guys. I used to be friends with all the influencers, right? <laughs> Rest in peace. And I would see them accept $100,000, $250,000 to say a product was good. 
and they would lie. I would see it, it would make me sick to my stomach and I'm glad that I don't associate with those people anymore. All right, so we're supposed to lift and load our lashes using the front hook bristles. All right, let's apply this mascara from root to tip. Let me get the very ends. All right, so here is the mascara, Miss L'Oreal on the right, and here is nothing blank basic bitch on this side. All right, the mascara is fully on. It's really pretty. I think the bottom lashes look stunning. Now, but you guys, I have reviewed about 100 mascaras on TikTok and YouTube combined, and girl, it's cute, it's very affordable. I love that it's $15, it's separated the lashes, it looks pretty. Is it the greatest thing on the planet? No, but I'm not getting paid to say that. So I really just wanna give one last statement. You guys are allowed to like whoever you want, respect whoever you want, watch whoever you want, but be careful. Do not be influenced so easily by people and be careful. A lot of these people are accepting money, they have things to pay for, they got a life to live and I don't know. It makes me very uncomfortable. The beauty space has changed immensely and there's only a few top dogs now. And if they're gonna be lying to everyone, bitch, then I'm never going away. But yeah, this is the situation with Lashgate so far. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.